Kevlar Products Active Ice 3.0 is a circulating cold water therapy system for post-surgery recovery and pain management. Please follow along as we demonstrate how to use the system. To begin, thoroughly read through your instruction manual's cautions and warnings before using the Activize 3.0 system. Always follow your healthcare provider's instructions and recommendations in the proper use of cold therapy. A standard Activize 3.0 cold therapy system comes with our patent-pending programmable digital timer, a 9 or 16 quart cooling reservoir with 5 feet of attached insulated tubing, 12 volt power supply, instruction manual, and a universal or body part specific therapy pad. At the end of the reservoir's attached tubing, there are two female couplings. At the end of the therapy pad's tubing, there are two male couplings. These couplings must be connected for the water to circulate through the system. When you look inside the cooling reservoir, you will see a water and ice fill level sticker, a water return flow tube, and a pump. Begin the system setup by opening the cooling reservoir and filling it with clean, cold water to the water fill line on the reservoir's water and ice fill level sticker. Caution, never operate the system without water. Next, fill the cooling reservoir with ice to the water return flow tube located near the top of the system. Use the water and ice fill level sticker as a reference. Larger blocks of ice will last longer. Try frozen water bottles in your reservoir instead of ice. The Polar family uses six 16.9 ounce frozen water bottles in the nine quart cooling reservoir and 12 16.9 ounce frozen water bottles in the 16 quart cooling reservoir. When using water bottles, it will work best with additional water in the reservoir. Connect your therapy pad to the cooling reservoir via the high flow quick disconnect couplings. Ensure that the metal tabs on the female couplings are pressed down before connecting. There will be an audible click when the couplings are properly locked together. Bring the system over to where it will be used. Then, lay the therapy pad out flat on a level surface with the cooling reservoir. It is important to run the system for a few minutes before attaching the pad to the body. This will help ensure a strong circulation and prevent any restriction of the water flow. Now, plug the power supply into a nearby outlet. Next, plug the timer into the power supply. Then, plug the other end of the timer into the cooling reservoir. Press the on-off button on the timer. This will turn the system on. Once turned on, the water will begin to circulate. Check the water return flow tube to make sure water is circulating and that all the connections are correct. While water circulates through the system, focus your attention on the patent-pending programmable digital timer. The default setting for the timer is 10 minutes on and 10 minutes off. Detailed instructions on how to operate your timer can be found on page three, section G in your instruction manual. Set your cooling on time by pressing the right and left buttons. The minimum on time is 10 minutes. This can be increased by 10 minute increments up to the maximum time of 990 minutes. Set your off time by pressing the top and bottom buttons. The timer will cycle the system on and off per the set times for as long as desired and counts down so you know how much time is remaining. Strictly follow your healthcare provider's instructions concerning the duration and frequency of cold therapy use. After waiting several minutes, the therapy pad will be ready to secure to the body. For your safety, always ensure that there is an insulation barrier on the target area before using the system. At no point should the therapy pad touch bare skin. Now, place the therapy pad on the target body part. Please refer to the therapy pad instructions insert or watch the short application video for the specific therapy pad you have. Inside the cooling reservoir, check the water return flow tube to confirm that water is flowing. Make sure there are no kinks or restrictions which could affect the flow. Now, 
Set your cooling on and off times on your timer per your healthcare provider's instruction. Always follow their guidelines on the duration and frequency of cold therapy use and how often to check your skin. When the temperature has risen above the desired level, drain the excess water from the reservoir if necessary and refill with ice or frozen water bottles. Always be sure water completely covers the pump. When you have finished your cold therapy session, use the timer to turn the system off and disconnect the timer and power supply. To detach your therapy pad from the reservoir, press the metal tabs on the female couplings down and gently pull the therapy pad away from the system's tubing. Periodically empty the water from the reservoir and wipe down the system. For specific therapy pad application videos, please refer to their product pages. Polar Products Active Ice Systems are designed and assembled in Akron, Ohio by skilled professionals using high quality materials. Our excellent customer service representatives are located in the same location and are ready to answer any questions you may have. Our goal is to manufacture the world's best cold therapy products for natural, drug-free pain relief. We are a family-owned company and we appreciate your support of our business.